So first and foremost, you have to moisturize your skin. That's like the most basic thing. And make sure that you wait for like a good 20 to 30 minutes so that the product absorbs onto your skin and you can layer the products afterwards. You can skip the primer because lazy girls tend to skip products. So yeah, I have moisturized my face and my lips and we're going to move on to the next product that is the BB cream. Now for a lazy girls full glam makeup look, we have no time for foundation and all that jazz. So basically get any BB cream that works best for you. I have this one, this is by Inveda and this is the 18 month uh, cream which I received in my fat bag and it's awesome. I love it. It's got SPF uh, 20 in it but it doesn't give me any white cast or something. So I'm just going to evenly spread across. I believe fingers work the best. The tools usually uh, waste a lot of product and it doesn't apply well. Just drag the product down your neck because you want everything to be blended really well. So our base is ready now and let's go to the concealing part now. As we're not using a foundation, now concealing is really important. So I'm going to use a really good concealer which blends in really fast and covers up all the imperfections here. So I'm going to use the LA Girl Pro Conceal HD uh, High Definition one. Let me tell you, uh, I'm in the shade uh, Warm Honey. So I'm just going to come um, under my eye. Also going to put it on my lids so that it just works as a really good primer. As I have some pigmentation in the inner corners, I'm just going to draw an inverted C like so in the uh, smile lines as well as the upper lip area. have no freaking time or energy to actually wet a beauty blender and wait for it to turn uh, like you know double its size and everything so we have to use brushes this is the real techniques of buffing brush and I'm going to blend everything away the best thing about this concealer is that it blends in and works seamlessly and sets really fast but you really uh, don't have to you know work fast because it doesn't dry out on your skin like a few foundations or concealers do so i'm actually drying it a little bit on my nose and on my cheek area just dragging the extra product on the forehead etc going all over so that it gives a nice coverage and uh, a cleaner slate for our face. Of course, try and drag it a little bit to your neck as well. I'm taking the same brush and just going to take some powder and we're going to set our eyes first. Setting our eyes first actually makes it a lot easier to set the whole face because Right now I'm just going all over really fast. This is a really fast and minimum makeup look. Perfect for the Diwali time or any festive season actually. Where we did set our entire face right now and we're going to move on to our eyes. I'm going to zoom you guys a little bit. So when you really want to look really different and uh, stand out in a crowd and you don't really want to work on your 
make up so much i'm going to tell you what you can do first and foremost you get any quad or any eyeshadow uh, something like this one i have this one this is not that great but still i'm going to use that i'm going to show you how to achieve it so i'm going to take this color this is the shimmery white color so i'm just going to dip a little bit and i'm going to highlight my eyebrows using that just on the uh, arch where this uh, goes the arch goes up and comes down you just have to line a little bit repeat if necessary i'm telling you it may so i've highlighted both my brow bones next step is to highlight your inner corners so firstly i'm going to do a little bit of uh, highlighting in my inner corners and afterwards after the whole look is finished i'm going to do the same thing again just to give it a little bit of pop extra pop um you can totally skip doing that but then it totally makes a difference okay so next thing is uh, as it's a festive season and the colors are mostly going to be gold and yellowish or uh, white gold or rose gold or bronze something like that so i'm taking this oldie but a goodie i have used uh this palette and done so many tutorials already and this comes always in handy i'm going to take this color this is the bronze color so i'm going to just take this you really don't need to wet the brush because this come on and we don't have time for that to pack on a lot of it and i'm going all over the lid using this color so it's a bit dark in its undertone but you can leave it if you're happy with this this is so pigmented i love this color but then i'm going to add something extra because we're going for that gold look okay so now that i have the bronze all over my lid i'm going to take the same quad again and going with orange you can actually skip this and go for yellow gold or the normal uh, lighter color but it should be shimmery so shimmery colors work all over the lid and uh, they work perfectly if you're going for that one color look so i'm just going to take this one cut just in the center I did have time. I would seriously never consider doing this without wetting these uh, shimmery shadows. But then, this is the quickest uh, glam eye makeup look that I can come up with. So I'm going back with this color uh, palette, the Hot Smoke Redemption one. I'm going with the second one, and I'm going to blend it in the edges. So we're going to go. you really don't need to take time blending it because this is not that kind of a look just something just two seconds are enough for this so now comes the time for highlighting once again so i'm going with the white one again and i'm going to add the same thing on the inner corners and i'm dragging it a little bit outwards like so the coffee color from the same palette uh, the one beside black and i'm going to just blend out my bottom uh, lashes a little bit the lash line because i'm not going to add up anything in this but i'm just going to define a little bit doesn't uh, make me look tired looking because we don't have anything in our bottom so if you guys 
are like uh, not into putting anything in the rim of your waterline this is a great tip you can just blend out some brown eyeshadow and it's going to look bomb okay so now that we are almost done with our eyes i'm going to line my eyes and i'm going to go a little bit dramatic so that it looks like we have done some really uh, complicated stuff here <laughs> Now that we are done with our liner, uh, next step is to just use some mascara. Not very really much because we need to save some time. So the next best thing that I noticed and discovered is that uh, if you have a really good neutral eyeshadow palette. Uh, and you have a lot of browns uh, try to get the eyeshadow palette which has shades of different browns like from light to dark dark medium everything the neutral ones and if you find your shade you can totally get uh, something which is true to your skin tone that you can use to set your face or something like that set your eyes basically but a shade darker can actually be used for uh, contouring the shades which work for me are included in some of the Morphe palettes and uh, this is the Sleek Eye Divines palette, the matte ones and this one, uh, this brown one works perfectly for me uh, in order to contour my nose and my cheeks I recently, find, I recently found out so I'm just going to take any normal brush this is by Real Techniques and I'm just going to dip into the eyeshadow it's called paper bag if you guys are interested the eyeshadow name and I'm just going to slightly take some of it and I'm going to contour my nose with this small brush I will be using a bigger brush for my cheeks a little bit not much So the final step would be to add some color to my lips as well as cheeks. So quickly I'm just going to take, you can actually use a normal lip stain or a cheek stain or anything uh, right before you powder your face but I have already powdered my face so I'm not going to use a lipstick. It's a great tip but it, it works amazingly, it gives you a really great sheen and a natural glow. When I'm taking this Milan Paris one and I'm going very natural and I'm going to mix these two colors and I'm just going to pop some so basically for lazy girls uh, best lip option is always going to be the bold red lip so I'm going to take the matte one you can use any matte red color but it should look really velvety and really sexy so that it looks it, it just comes all together it, it looks amazing I'm using the Stila all day long liquid lipstick in the shade Peso. Didn't I tell you, this dries super quick so a matte red lip is always always a yes option and of course we are going to lock everything that we have done with a setting spray and here we go Okay, so this is the final look guys. So this is the Lazy Girls Guide to Full On Glam uh, Makeup Look for the coming Diwali and other festive seasons. You can totally rock this look for any occasion. You just need a couple of products and you can make everything work. And this is a no foundation uh, full face makeup. So I, I'm guessing it turned out pretty good if you guys don't like it. Let me know what I did wrong or anything. 
So yes, I hope you have an amazing Diwali and an amazing year and amazing life ahead. And if you guys have any questions, then leave them in the comments below. And if you randomly came across my channel, then do subscribe. It will really help me out and thumbs up if you liked the makeup look. And I will see you guys really soon in my next one. See you. Bye.